No! Dang it! There we go. Well, that was crazy. Let's see if we can get another bite before dark. Oh, golly. Nice one. Better not last one. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. This pond has lost more water than I expected. I haven't been here in quite a while. Here this evening with my brother right there. Might have to find a different place to put in. I usually put in right here, but I don't know. I'm gonna walk this real quick and see if there's a better place. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be right over here. Uh, a little bit off color than it normally is too. See a bunch of little minnows up here already though. Woo, this is really muddy. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's stinky muddy right here right off the bank. Ugh. Smells bad. It smells so bad. Alright, let's push past this mud. It's freaking nasty right here, dude. Ugh. I guess we're gonna want to go around this side first, this left side, because it's the shady side right now. And then as the sun gets down, they'll probably be more spread out or more on that side. Like I was saying earlier though, I haven't been here in quite a while. Actually mostly because I know there was a big fish kill here not too long ago. A guy on Facebook had a couple of videos of a bunch of bass dead out here. So I've just been giving it a rest actually. I'm not really trying to catch the few that were left. I'm trying to let them do their thing. Just saw some shad flipping over there, a couple of times actually. As I was saying that I was seeing shad flipping, I saw another one flip. So that's a good sign, there's still some bait in here. Like I was saying earlier, I saw a whole bunch of minnows up there by the bank too, so. The bait fish is still here for sure. Just wondering how good the bass population is. Got something? Yeah. What is it? A bass? Yeah. Nice. Just a wee little fella. Yep, yeah, it's a good sign though. There's some good ones left. I don't see why we shouldn't catch them right here. This is nice. All this grass right here, big old hole in the middle. Plenty of open water over here for them to get on the edge of the grass too. Lots of shade. Come on, should be a big one up in here. Got something? Yeah. Another little bass. It's a bass, right? Yeah. Wow. Even smaller. <laughs> About four inches long. <laughs> yeah, I'm 
very surprised I haven't caught a good one yet. I don't know though, this place had a lot of fish die a while back. I wonder if there's a distinct lack of good ones. Oh no! Dang it! Yep, fish hit it and was swimming at me, I think. Dang it! Yeah, it went don't don't. I should have reeled down a little more. I kept reeling for a second until I thought I had enough pressure on him, but dang it. Should have probably dipped my rod a little bit more than that. Golly, that was definitely a bite though. A little duckling back here. No big old bass though. Golly. Going as far back here as we can now, looks like. I'll stand up real quick and check it out, I guess. Yeah, that's as far back as we can come. No water around that corner. You know what, I'm gonna switch up before we go down this other side. Hold on, stay right there for a second. There's a whopper plopper in your bag I wanna grab. Oop. There we go. Golly, that was a nice bite. Oh, golly, I just lost one. Gosh, now it wasn't big, but it wasn't real tiny either. Blew up my whopper plopper really good. Golly, I would like to have touched that fish at least. Would have been my first one of the day. Like I said, it wasn't a big one like I'm looking for, but it's a decent little fish. Through that whopper plopper out there past this point of grass right here right in front of me and then i'll show you what i did right here as it was going past the point i pointed my rod over here so it could go right into the pocket like that and that's when that fish blew up on it that was really cool he unloaded on it made a nice explosion for how relatively small he was Make a couple of casts right over here before we move on. Ooh, another one. <laughs> another little guy, but. Another one that blew it up really good for his size. <laughs> right there on the edge of that grass. That last one was a little bit bigger than this actually. Maybe a keeper, but calm down there, buddy. Don't hook me. That last one was probably about 14 inches long. This one's only about 12, but it's all right. And there we go. Right out just like that. All right, that was cool. Another one that blew it up real big for his size. Little guy. Blew it up really good though. That was cool. Thank you for playing, buddy. A lot of people know how to catch fish on this swapper plopper, but a lot of people struggle with it for whatever reason. I don't know why. I say they know how. I mean, it's nothing, nothing real special. You just throw it out and reel it in. Pretty much like a buzz bait, but even easier. You just throw it right along grass edges and pretty much anywhere you'd expect a, fit, a bass to be ambushing. That's all you gotta do, just throw it along those edges and stuff, but a lot of people complain about not being able to catch them on a whopper plopper for whatever reason. I think it's probably just because they don't give it enough time myself. I think they throw it out there and they expect it to be like a magic bait, like everybody talks about, oh, that bass love that whopper plopper. Kind of just expect it to be like magic just right away, but you do have to work it just like any other bait and find the fish. It's not just going to make fish appear in front of you.
Oh, no. Dang it. Pause for a second. Don't know why I missed that one, dang it. Kind of surprised me, but I did pause for a second. Let him take it down. Not sure why I didn't get that one. Golly. Right along this little grass edge again, though. That's where all my waffle flubber bites have come so far. Right along a grass edge. Hmm. I'm actually surprised I haven't got any more bites. Fish the rest of that grass line right there. And these isolated grass clumps out here. Without a bite. Almost back to where we began. Or we pretty much are back to where we began. We just fished that side instead of this side. So I'm going to tuck over here next to this bank and fish around this way. Just to fish the edge that I haven't yet. But golly, I'm really surprised I'm not getting bit some more out here. Golly, why did I miss that one? Just kept reeling until I started to feel the pressure and then as soon as I went to set the hook, it was gone. Probably just a little guy though, he didn't hit it with very much oomph. Well, come back around to where we started. Fished all that bank over there, back around over here to where we first put in our kayaks. Just gonna make a few casts right around here waiting for my brother. He's right over there across the pond. I'm gonna let him take his time and work around here. But that'll probably be the last bite you'll be able to see right there. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Golly. I don't know what happened there. That was a good one. For sure. Big, deep, woof. Gosh. Felt him for a second, too. How did I miss that one? Golly. Wow. Okay. Well, that was a good fish there. Wow. Did you hear that one? Dude, it went choo! Golly, that was a good fish there. Dang it. There we go. There we go. There's a good one finally. Come on up here. Come on. There we go. All right. There's a decent fish. Hopefully it's not too dark for the GoPro to see, but that was a pretty awesome bite too. Pop off of there. There we go. All righty. Not a real big fish, but pretty decent one that absolutely crushed that whopper plopper right there. Real nice, healthy fish. Glad to see that in here right now. Thank you for playing, buddy. Gosh, that was cool. Well, that was crazy. Let's see if we can get another bite before dark. Golly. Stuff chasing all around me right here. Oh, golly. Nice one. Better not last one. Golly. Actually, he's not. I thought he was because he was fighting so hard and he hit so hard. But... Calm down, calm down, calm down. Just another decent one that's real, real healthy and real feisty. Whew. Getting on a little flurry right here, right before dark. Hopefully the GoPro can catch at least some of this. I don't know. I think it's probably a little too dark by now, but Hopefully at least here, see the explosions. There we go, got it rolled out of there. Another nice one. Real, real healthy on that one, golly. I don't know if you can see right there because it's pretty dark, but the gut on that thing is crazy. That little dude has been eaten. Thank you for playing, buddy, that was fun. Oh, 
Oh, golly. Oh, right there at the boat. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, kept my GoPro rolling just in case something else happened before we left. And that right there was definitely something. That was crazy. That fish ate it right at the boat. You'll at least be able to hear the explosion on that one. Goodness gracious. That was crazy right there. I'd say uh, I'd say the population in this pond is doing just fine. I was a little worried at the beginning, but there's another decent little fish that absolutely destroyed that whopper plopper. Holy cow. Golly, this pond came alive all of a sudden. They were just waiting for that last 30 minutes of daylight to really kick it off. Holy cow. The last 10 minutes, really. Ever since it got hard for the GoPro to be able to pick up the light was really when it started to go off. Oh my gosh. Oh, gee whiz. Just had another one right at the boat. They are going off right now. These fish really decided to eat this last part of the day. The very, very last part of the day. This is crazy. They are going off right now. Mm -hmm. 